Hey, I beat the game! You defeated Bliss and reached max level where there's still more to do. Try the daily missions or the challenge mode, available on some missions on your map. Yo, alright, dude! I freaking beat the game, guys! I beat the freaking... Um... I did, did I beat the game? Wait, it went away! Did I, did I still beat the game? Hello, Tom Clancy? Tom! Tom, did I beat the Tom! Did I beat the game, Tom? Tom! Tom, did I beat the game? Tom! Tell me I'm nice, Tom! Tell me I'm nice! Alright, so Tom might not get back to me, but I'm definitely here to tell you guys, you are freaking nice. Here I am, just over here, just... Oh my god, this is freaking loud. Oh my god, I need to turn down the volume. Oh my god, there goes the intro. Oh my god, I'm shooting the butt. Oh my god, he had explosive diarrhea. Oh my god, this guy's on fire. Flaming poops, dude. Flaming poops. Worst way to go out. The absolute worst. Alright, I'll take that money. Let me get that money. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. For some reason, the maintenance ended and it loaded me in the middle of the dark zone. And I, all I want to do was just show you guys a nice little video about, like, tips for getting a level 30 really fast. Attention. And stuff like that. And Tom just sent me right in the dark zone. Alright, so, whatever. Use the gate. We're getting out of here. We're going to show you guys some explanations for, um... Uh, how to get to level 30 a lot faster. Honestly, what I would say when you're starting off this game straight up, don't sell anything, dude. Like, nothing. You want to sell none of your gear. Um, obviously, that doesn't mean keep your gear forever. I'm just saying, like, the credits you gain from selling gear at low levels is not worth it whatsoever. So don't freaking do that. That's just a, a no-go on that one. Um, I don't know when I'm going to stop killing enemies, but my god, do I enjoy, like, mercilessly just slaying down foes. Which is part of what, like, this end game for this game is going to be, is just the satisfaction of just rapidly slaying stuff, similar to, like, Diablo. Um, so if you're wondering about that, there you go. Think about, like, a Diablo-esque end game for this game. Now, here's how we do the dismantling thing. You have this thing in your inventory, you're like, man, I don't want this, I don't want to sell it either, because it'll give me, like, no credits in return, because that's how low game works. And pretty much end game too, but you kind of have to eventually sell stuff, um, but it's not really that big of a deal. You really want to dismantle stuff. And you just click it in, dismantle it, you get weapon parts. It tells you on your screen what button to push. Um, if there's, like, a down arrow on, like, your L stick or R stick kind of symbol, it means click it in. Click in those joysticks. Alright, so anyway, that's all you dismantle stuff. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. So you also want to do these missions and these side missions to get to level 30. If you do all the main missions and side missions as you go along the levels and the zones, you'll be like right under level 30. Um, I don't think you actually hit level 30 quite yet by just doing the main missions and side missions. But then you can also do these encounters just to get the little extra XP that you need to hit that level 30 uh, realm. Um, if you're just going to sit around just killing random mobs or just doing all the encounters along the way, not necessary at all. I was actually doing all the encounters along the way. And about here, the level 24, 26 area, my group and I were just like, screw these encounters. These are not helping us at all because we finally actually looked at the XP that we gained from it. <laughs> and we just uh, moved on. We just stopped doing encounters around here, which is why you don't really see anymore on my map. It, we kind of just stopped here. And uh, just did side missions and main story missions. And then we leveled up completely and were completely level 30 uh, before we even finished all the side missions in the last realm. So um, you'll probably need to do some encounters, but the amount of XP you get from side missions and main missions is significantly more. For instance, you should see on screen, XP is 70, 74,610 for doing this one side mission. Doing the encounter right next to it gives you 20,000 XP. And it's about the same amount of time it takes to do both of them. So it's significantly more worth it just to do side missions and main missions. I can't show you XP values for doing main missions because I've already done them. So it doesn't show up for me yet. Or any more, I should say. But discovering safe houses, doing the main missions, doing side missions, that's going to get you level 30 fastest. Do the encounters only to get the supplies that you need to finish off your wings at 100% each. Or just for the sake of just getting the last little bit to level 30 after you've already done all the side missions and main missions. Also, regarding the side missions, these things refresh daily. So if you're not going to do this like crazy 24-hour like gun it spurt thing that like I did, 
um, to get to level 30 instantly, then after you finish off some side missions, by the time you go back to the game the next day, you'll have more side missions to get from the safe houses. You go to the safe houses, go to the, like the rep JTF guy that you find there, and they'll give you more side missions. That'll also give you a lot of XP. Stick to the high level areas as you're trying to level up the last few levels. Uh, but don't worry, I believe in you, buddy. You can get through it. So those are quick little tips for getting through to level 30 the fastest. Side missions, main missions, I explained it for you. If you don't understand, hit me up with a message or a comment or something like that if you have any more questions. Um, and there you go. Let's do a little dance to signal off the end of the video. Y'all have a great day, and as always, citizens, thanks for watching. God, I love doing this dance. It's like the best part of this game for me. Yeah, you get it, girl. You get it. Do that stinky leg. Perfect.